Silicon Valley has a new favorite buzzword, the merge. It sounds like a bad science fiction movie title. Absolutely, I agree. But tonight, it has a laboratory. It has a quarter of a billion dollars in cash. And it has the two kings of AI standing on the opposite sides of a battlefield inside your skull. Wow. We definitely like to make things sound dramatic. In the red corner, Elon Musk and Neuralink. In the blue corner, Sam Altman and his new bet, Merge Labs. Musk and Neuralink is basically, Sam isn't just watching, he is a co-founder. He is writing checks. OpenAI just led a $252 million seed round. The valuation, $850 million. Before they even actually have shipped a product. And that is the surprising part. And I want to ask you why. Well, because OpenAI has just looked at ChatGPT. When they looked at us, they realized something very painful. We are the bottleneck. Let's do away with the marketing and understand what is the narrative war. Neuralink is the force approach. Drills, robot surgeons, electrodes in the gray matter. It works, it's real, but it's heavy metal, not the music. Merge Labs is the stealth bomber. Their pitch, no drills, no wires. Instead, biology and sound waves, ultrasound. Here is the ping pong game. Elon wants to wire the room. Sam wants to rewire the resident. Neuralink installs a port. Merge installs a protocol. The technology sounds like magic, but it's actually biology. And that is Merge Labs, which wants to actually go into gene therapy. They deliver special proteins to your neurons. These proteins act like signal boosters. Then they use ultrasound, sound waves to read and write data to the brain. So let's just think of it this way, it's scary, but let's just think again. Neuralink is plugging an Ethernet cable into your wall. Fast, reliable, but you are tethered to the spot. Merge Labs is trying to build whole house Wi-Fi inside your head. Wireless, broad, scalable. The team isn't a bunch of coders. We are actually talking about Mikhail Shapiro from Caltech. Tyson Aflalo. Summer Norman, and the World Coin guys, Alex Blania and Sandro Herbig. All these heavy hitters, well, they claim this is the path to a BCI, which is a brain-computer interface that, of course, you might actually use, not just for medical needs, but to upgrade oneself. But why is OpenAI, OpenAI here? Why does the ChatGPT company care about biology in the first place? Bandwidth. Right now, you communicate with AI at the speed of your thumbs. Maybe, well, 40 words a minute. AI processes tokens at the speed of light. The friction is unbearable. OpenAI's blog said it very, very simply. Progress in interfaces enables progress in computing, which means they want a direct line. They want to bypass the keyboard. They want the model to talk to the mind. And if you believe AGI is coming, and you don't want to be a spectator, you actually need a faster connection. Yes, that is the bet. An AI operating system that doesn't live on your phone. It actually lives in your neural pathways. Elon says this, we start with patients, paralysis, blindness, end quote. Merge says, same, but we want the consumer as well. They want a device safe enough that the founders would wear it as well. And that is the narrative hook. Safe non-invasive. But of course, we need to analyze that. Non-invasive is a relative term. Sure, they aren't drilling a hole, but they are modifying your biology with gene therapy. And that isn't a smartwatch you can just take off at night. No, that is a permanent edit to the source code of your cells. And here is the dark side of the moon. The risks. This is the ultimate privacy nightmare. If a machine can read your intent, it can actually read your focus. Yes, who owns that data? Is it us? Or is it the company that sold us the subscription? This goes beyond ad tracking. Actually, it goes into the domain of neuro tracking. So let's just imagine your boss knowing when you zone out. Imagine the government knowing your emotional state before you do. Well, and the biggest risk, alignment. 
Sam Altman talks about merging with AI to keep control. But if the AI is inside your cognitive loop, where does the human end and the model begin? Yeah, that's scary. Do you make the choice? Or does the algorithm nudge the neuron before you even have the thought? The internet is divided. Yes, half C, full dive, virtual reality. The matrix, unlimited memory. The other half sees the end of free will. But the money is moving. Neuralink has raised $650 million. Merge just grabbed $252 million. The race is on, not for the best chatbot, but for the nervous system of the future internet. Sam Altman has placed his chip on the table. Elon Musk is already drilling. So what about you? You are the prize. Yes. We've spent 10 years asking if AI is smart enough for us. Tonight, the question has changed, my friends. Are we smart enough to let AI inside? This is Front Page by AIM Network. Like, share, subscribe, and always remember, this is the new space for AI and technology and the most stellar insights. Always remember, like, share, subscribe, and think AI, think AIM. Thank you.